We're all gathered here today um, to express our rage at the 11 years of occupation of Afghanistan by the United States of America. Now, on the other hand, they're still trying to steal the gold from the Black Hills, from the Lakota people, right? So, from the Black Hills of the Lakota people to Qara Zahan and Afghanistan, where they're mining from gold, for gold, their goals are the same, right? So our struggles are one. I hope that as indigenous people there and people in occupied places that we realize that and we work together because we have to come together. We have to come together to fight this very powerful machinery that's working against us, this imperialist, colonizer, freaking criminal machinery that's working against us. We live in a capitalist nation state that was founded on slavery and genocide. This is occupied land we're standing on. This is the land of our ancestors. This is the land of people who, have, who fought and struggled, who didn't sit back and stand there or expect a paycheck, you know, like a lot of non profiters do, for the liberation of our people. So I think we need to stand together and continue standing together, whether it's from Afghanistan, Palestine to Mexico. There's a genocide ha happening right now against indigenous people. These capitalists expect us to sit here and be obedient to their laws, to their white colonizer laws. And they expect us to stand by while they come in and invade with guns and weapons and their military and expect us to be repressed and expect us to be obedient to their lies. And so this is why we need to stand together, folks who understand that we are fighting a machine. We are fighting, fighting an empire. We are fighting a nation that its only mission is to completely destroy life and destroy the lives of indigenous people, whether it's in the U.S. or in Mexico or Palestine, Afghanistan. This is really disgusting. This system is a virus. Capitalism is a virus. It's poisoning us and makes us think that by standing here and by following whatever orders people give in the military and by people being complicit with their silence, that things are going to keep being continue and I think now it's time more than ever that we speak out about what's happening in Mexico, that we speak out what's happening in Palestine, that we speak out what's happening in Afghanistan because there's nothing else left but to speak the truth. I think we want the exit of the colonizer in all its forms, in all its manifestations, with all its systems. We don't want integration into a system of exploitation and a world market that's dominated by Western powers. When reformists or the intellectuals of the colonizer ask you, so what are you going to do? Are you going to fight with knives and guns that they gave you in the 80s? You say yes. Yeah. <laughs> then tell them that France Fanon told you the work of the colonists is to make even the dreams of liberty impossible for the colonized. And the work of the colonized to imagine every possible method for annihilating the colonists. And then tell them Malcolm X told you by any means necessary. You know, when we stand up against colonialism, when we stand up against U.S. imperialism, we are standing with millions and millions of people in Iraq and Afghanistan all over the world. Yes. Yeah. But we are also standing with us, with all of us among us who are here in the first place because we are refugees of U.S. imperialism. And I'm so grateful that we stand together. I'm so grateful for all of the actions this weekend against all of the forms of colonialism. I'm so grateful for the solidarity of those 20 people that went to jail yesterday to take a stand against US colonialism and imperialism. That's right. And, and, and I want us to stand in solidarity with them. So this thing that we are surrounded by, most of us swallowed and consumed by, is completely dependent on this violent colonial project in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in the Muslim diaspora, in the African diaspora, and specifically here where we are now. Even yesterday, as people march in the streets of San Francisco against this so-called holiday of, of Columbus, they were brutally attacked and beaten with clubs just for walking in the streets. Just for walking in the streets. 
as high-tech machines of war fly overhead for Fleet Week, the sound that for many of our comrades around the world signifies the end of their whole community, and we're beat down in the streets for saying that genocide is wrong. But we're going to do more than that because we're going to commit our faith to action and we're going to put skin in the game. And what I mean by that is we're going to be in the streets, we're going to take action, and we're going to move on this beast until it dies. Peace, love to all the soldiers. We're gonna be out here again. This is gonna be the first hit.